The very first step to getting your dream job is your CV or resume. So today we will talk about the three most important tips and tricks to get your CV to stand out and get you an interview for your dream job. But before we start, let's cover some of the basics. In terms of length, make sure that your CV does not exceed two pages in length and ideally try to fit it in just one page. Don't go into fancy formats or try to make it look too pretty. Focus more on the content. Use one of the free tools like Microsoft Word or Novo Resume or even better, just use LinkedIn. To make sure your LinkedIn is always updated with the LinkedIn download feature, you can just download that as a CV that you can then submit for a position. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos to help you accomplish your dream job or your dream study program in Europe. All right, so let's get started with the three key tips for making sure that the content in your CV is optimized for getting you an interview. The number one most important content tip for your CV is to make sure that your content is relevant to the job that you're applying for. It's not important to list everything you have ever done in your life in that CV. What's more important is that everything there is relevant to the position you're applying for. Think of it as a elevator conversation with the hiring manager. What would you like to tell him in those 30 seconds? Focus on that. Do not go and waste that real estate in unnecessary details. For example, if you were a high school teacher for eight years and have had a corporate job for the last two years, and what you're applying for now is a corporate job where your last two years experience is relevant, make sure that that makes up 80% of your CV, even if that's only 20% of your work experience so far. Number two, make sure your content is achievement focused. Hiring managers don't care about what you do at your current job. What we care about is what have you achieved or accomplished in your previous roles. Think of it again as the 30 minute elevator conversation. What would you like to tell that person? You wouldn't tell them saying, hey, I go to my job, I analyze a lot of Excel sheets every day and I sit in a lot of meetings. And you shouldn't do the same for your CV. A much better way of saying that is, I have saved my previous company $100,000 in the previous quarter by analyzing data to find low hanging fruits where I brought together everyone to solve those problems. I cannot stress this enough. The number of CVs that I have gone through where I'm looking at it and I see what the person is doing on a day to day basis, but I'm not, it's not wow for me. I'm not getting why this is important. Just because you go every day and you do your job doesn't make you stand out in any way. So tell me about what you have accomplished in those years that you have worked. Last but not the least, make sure that your CV speaks the language of the job posting that you're applying for. This means two things. First, if part of the experience you have is from a different industry, make sure that what you're putting in your CV is simple enough for someone who doesn't have the background of that industry to understand. Do not use abbreviations. The second part of it is matching the language of your CV to the job posting that you're applying for. A lot of people swear by this and for the right reasons. What a lot of recruiters do, they get thousands of CVs. So one of the things that they do in order to shortlist the CVs that they believe would be relevant for the job is a keyword search. So as long as you have those keywords in your CV, the chances of it showing up and being much more successful for you suddenly become much higher. Secondly, even when a recruiter is reading through your CV or analyzing if you will be a good match for the position, the recruiters often do not have the in-depth knowledge of the positions that the hiring managers do. All they know is what is in the job posting or what the hiring manager has told them. So if your CV is telling them the same things that the job posting or the hiring manager told them, for them, that becomes a match. And hence, they move you to the next step, 
which is an interview. So that is absolutely the right thing to do. These were the three key messages. Um, a couple of bonus small things on the side. Do not forget to add your hobbies and do not hesitate to be yourself. The more out there your hobbies are, the better they are. They are a great tool for breaking some ice and starting the conversation. I have had some really fun conversations with candidates over the years just because of the hobbies that they had listed that I found interesting. So go for it. I hope this is helpful for you. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos to help you accomplish your dream job or your dream study program in Europe. If you have any questions related to your CV or your job search or a study program search in general, please feel free to drop me a note and I will get back to you. Thank you.